We're now going to solve the Schrodinger equation or attempt to solve the Schrodinger equation for the helium atom. If we remember what that looked like, here it was where this was the um, Hamiltonian and the del squared operator was expressed in terms of spherical coordinates. Well, unfortunately, this is what the physicists call a three-body problem. The three bodies are the nucleus, which has a plus two charge. We have an electron up here, and we have another electron up here. And these one, two, three bodies, they're connected by some sort of force, but there is no analytic, no analytic solution to describe uh, the motion of three bodies independently moving. Uh, that's a three-body problem. One can make some approximations uh, and restrict the motion here to, for instance, motion on a plane, but in general, it's impossible to write down, for example, uh, the position as a function of time to be something. You can't write that down as an equation. So one has to use approximate methods or numerical methods in order to solve Schrodinger's equation for this three-body problem. And what does that have implications? Well, let's look at lithium. Lithium will have a plus three nucleus, and here we have three electrons, three electrons around lithium. This is now a four-body problem, four independent things moving subject to a central force here. So it looks like lithium, you don't have an analytic or exact solution to the Schrodinger equation for lithium, or in fact, if you go up, can't solve anything except the hydrogen atom, but anything more than one electron, uh, you can't solve it exactly. And uh, let alone, this is atoms, and you know, if you want to go to molecules, it's even, uh, you know, you just can't solve it there. So <laughs> uh, we're sort of stuck. The problem here is that you have this interaction between electrons, which makes it very difficult to solve, or makes it impossible to write down an analytic solution. It's that term there. So here we are, no analytic solution to the Schrodinger equation for three-body problem, which means we cannot solve Schrodinger equation exactly for anything uh, other than a one electron atom. Well, for instance, we can do the helium ion, He+, plus. that has one electron and has exact uh, solution, or lithium uh, two plus, and we stripped off two electrons. We just have one electron orbiting the lithium nucleus. That also has an exact solution. But anything more than one electron can't solve Schrodinger equation exactly. Well, there are two approximate ways to solve the Schrodinger equation um, in general. These uh, two classes of techniques are called perturbation theory and then variational method, or variation method. The variation method, uh, part of that, or one particular technique of the variation method is a whole new field called computational chemistry. So what we're going to do in the next two lectures is to look at perturbation theory. Again, we're motivated to try to solve the Schrodinger equation for more than one electron. And then we're going to look at the variation method and talk about computational chemistry.